What's up, Cancer? This is Soul. And Cancer, we're going to look at some energies here for you starting uh, December 26th and ending on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2023. First and foremost, I want to wish all my fellow crabs a very happy, prosperous, abundance, healthy, and peaceful New Year. Uh, Cancer, I'm using the Afro Tarot to deliver your energies here. No reversals or being read. Without further ado, let's get into the energies to see what is coming up here for you uh, potentially this week. Three good cuts, uh, Cancer. We'll begin your messages. All right, so Cancer, this card um, that I want to draw first is what's going to potentially open up for us or start the energy off. And, you know, I'll be the first one to report that this past week that we... Uh, just had was quite better than the week prior uh, so yeah <laughs> i'm feeling mighty good all right so anyway we're going to open up with the ace of wands good news and surprises coming in here start of something passionate so it could be a new hobby could be some sort of creative uh, suit okay this is also a card of initiation so whatever else that might be going on for you uh cancer you may um begin to initiate this week Right, so that's the Ace of Wands following that. Now we have the um, Six of Swords. Six of Swords is um, some sort of stressful energy is moving away from you, uh, Cancer. May have been associated with uh, the holidays. This is going on, yeah, being posted tonight, but going up for the week after Christmas. So it may have been that you dealt with some sort of Christmas stress. And if it did, you dealt with it. Now that energy is uh, moving away from you slowly but surely. You're moving into clear, calmer waters. This is a traveling card. So if you are traveling for this week in the holidays, then it's safe passage to, safe passage from. Always get relocation and someone could possibly be uh, purchasing a home. Even though it's not the pinnacles, it's just how I see it. So following the Six of Swords here for you, Cancer, we have the Five of Swords, okay? Some mental challenges uh, that we may have uh, to deal with and sort out, but it's just minor, so it's not going to be something that plagued you all week long. Uh, when it comes to the external energies, it could be friction with family members. It could also be, um, you know, romantic partners. It could be friends. Think in terms of it following the Six of Swords, that also when I said that the stress could be moving away from you, then you can regard the Five of Swords uh, as a reduction, okay? As some sort of reduction of the stress that you may have uh, dealt with in your recent past. When the Five of Swords, however, is, um, you know, is here for the uh, spread, you got to be very... Um, well, you got to be careful here, Cancer, because someone always has a tendency to uh, mentally challenge you, basically mess with your mind. So just make sure you know what's going on and uh, where it's coming from or where it could be coming from. Following the Five of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is the job offer. This is the contract offer. It could be the birth of a business ideal, starting to save money, invest money. It is a court card, so it still could be uh, business partnerships, yes romantic partnerships, platonic uh, partnerships that may be, um, you know, beginning for some of you this week. Following the page of Pentacles here, now we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is always the return of somebody, for me at least anyway, from your past. Not that, you know, somebody is necessarily trying to rob you or steal you, steal from you. Uh, this person is still challenged. Um, so just be careful in terms of entertaining any uh, people that you may have uh, disassociated yourself with in your past uh, because the Seven of Swords will still give me an indication that they're thinking of you, but they have nothing new to bring to the table or the plate. They just bring in more friction, more stress. And so even though I got the um, Five of Swords here in the middle and I said that could be seen as the reduction of some sort of stress that you were uh, going through, this that still holds because this could be also even though a seven still part of that stress you know um being challenged by somebody from your past and then you don't feed into it uh because you realize that they haven't changed nor do they want to change anyway following the seven of swords and i forgot to mention too most importantly that if you are something um that you you know put down forgot about misplaced and couldn't find it those things reappear um, for you this week. That's material things. 
Okay. Following that, we have the Five of Cups. Again, disappointment, a letdown. Now, this may not be you, Cancer. It could be uh, a child of yours. It could be a romantic partner. It could be a co-worker. And definitely could be uh, other energies uh, within the family structure. So, um, feeling like you're being handed a disappointment or it could be just, you, you know, some mood overtakes you, Cancer. And then you're just feeling some type of way. But you know these moods that affect you come um, temporarily and how you go into those moods. You may distance yourself. You may retreat. You may, you know, you could be doing almost anything. But if it's some sort of form of interaction with other people, it's best not to engage them when you're feeling this type of way. Because sometimes things could be said that are um, not able to retract or, you know, to be forgiven. Now, not necessarily saying that this is what you have any intentions or uh, set out to do cancer. No, I'm just giving you uh, several types of energies from what I'm feeling. Okay. And whatever is useful for you, just take it and then uh, what's not, just leave it, you know, the rest alone. So the Five of Cups is here. Following that, we got the Seven of Cups. So again, somebody goes deeper in terms of their feelings, expression towards you, Cancer, and you could be doing that to them. Now, it's not just a romantic uh, energy. This is an open general reading. So that energy will cover all uh, bases. If there are options that open up to you, uh, Cancer, this week, always using your best gut instincts to select what is best for you uh to keep you on your path in the long run following the seven of cups here for you uh we have the hermit major arcana uh is showing and this is some um, energy to do with introspection uh going within you know just want to spend some time alone um i always call it downtime me time it may be important because it sits underneath the five of swords and it could be external conflicts um, that you're going through or internal conflicts and the need to meditate to sort that energy out. So um, the hermit is here. And usually if you, you know, are able to break away cancer momentarily, you're not going to stay there. But when you do come out, hopefully that you arrived at your answers that you sought to seek within. And um, there's a different perspective on uh, moving forward. Following the uh, major arcana, the knight of uh, swords here, knight in shining armor. So this is taking charge. This is uh, actually uh, movement. So you're going after something. Using your, of course, analytical mind as opposed to your emotional heart to take charge or take action against uh, a situation. Following the Knight of Swords, now we have the Ten of Cups that completes our energy cancer. This is the wedding card, happiness card, even number of cups. So the energy that you give to others, you're going to get that back. Cross mirrors over the Ace of Wands, that intensity. It could be uh, the sexual energy expression. Um, some form, it could be also New Year's, you know, the family. You may not be spending time with family, but it could be your romantic partner or it could be a set of friends. Uh, but what you give, you're going to get back. And that's based on the Ten of Cups. All right. Then your shadow, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you have a Major Arcana of the World card. And then you have the Eight of Cups that finishes the shadow. So the Eight of Cups here is the uh, character I just mentioned our Cancer is looking in the back in other videos. That means that you're... Um, could have been, you know, dealing with something specifically with family members, romantic partners or friends. And it was tied in or associated with Christmas, feeling some type of way. So it shows up here um, just to let you know that there could be some sort of unresolved emotional uh, issues going on here with you and another person. Or it could be, a, you know, a family unit or uh, could be co-workers. But you know when to walk away when it's necessary or, you know, turn your back on that energy. I just feel that something is left undone emotionally here. Because <laughs> she's, you know, looking in the past direction. I always pay attention to the characters and where, you know, which direction they're facing. Anyway, the Major Arcana of the World card is here to bless you. And this is, um, you know, a completion of some type of energy. So things moving away from you. Then, you know, moving into clearer. I'm sorry. I mistook this for the um, Six of Swords. Damn, I'm sitting up here. 
It's the world card. Yes, it is a completion of energy. So one chapter closes and then the other uh, chapter that opens up is normally positive. This is a card that represents uh, not only opportunities, but opportunities that could be expected or unexpected. It is a relationship card. So this is very powerful to be in your energy. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is the boss in the workplace environment. This could be a significant uh, promotions or pay raises for you guys. If there was anything that was going on for uh, you this week uh, regarding, um, you know, money, um, money being available and resourceful could be starting or wanting or thinking about, you know, doing a business. Financial independence, you may be trying to seek. Or you already are. Somebody could come along who is single and had pocket change. I always talk about them having some sort of pocket change. And also, too, they may also have some type of influence. So, um, could be working for themselves, could be owning their own, running their own business. Like the finer things in life, but they're not overly materialistic. Will it share that energy with you? And that's the Queen of Pentacles. All queens and kings represents all relationships, sexes, ages, and genders for me. All right, so this is what I have for you. Uh, and I would feel that it's not too bad. Um, just, you know, take what resonates for you and then leave the rest alone. And just, you know, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Happy New Year's once again. Keep smiling for me. Stay safe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.